Are y'all ready? I'm the librarian. I'm and I came to read. to read. Hey, girlies. Hey, girlies. Let's talk about it. Well, before we talk about it, oh my goodness, I got so excited. I'm ready to try it. I'm ready. Let me tell you something, sweetie. I have been waiting for a minute. I've been just collecting my notes. I've been just collecting my notes, girl, because a lot of your faves have been acting out of line, girl, and mainly Miss Emmys, girl. G get ready to be dragged, sis. But before I get into it, I wanted to make sure that you guys are going over to ForTheCulturePodcast.com. If you have the podcast app on your iPhone, go ahead and search For The Culture Podcast. Girl, we are there live and in full effect. And also, we are on SoundCloud. So I don't know what to tell you girls. I don't know what to tell you girls, but you need to go ahead on over and listen to this episode because we just gave y'all life after life. It's called New Phone Who This. That's the name of the latest episode, so I want you guys to go over there, leave a review, to tell us what you think, leave in the comment section, tell me what you think. Girl, we are moving the fuck along. Also, I need for you guys to sign up to Patreon. I noticed a couple of you guys have been going over there consistently. Thank you so much. I'm trying to move and make sure that the Adrian Army is spread across in all the territories. So Patreon, go over there, patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. Everything is in the description box. I wrote a short piece on Miss Patreon about what went on at the Emmys and how I feel about Mr. Leaking Tomato Shape Head Ass, I think is what I called him. How I feel about Mr. Spicer's ass going on there and being given a platform. So if you go to patreon.com slash Asian Expression, all it takes is a dollar a month and you will have access to bonus content. So please check that out. What in tarnation? What in cool nation? What in cool nation is going on? Today in cool news, we have Mr. David Clark. Is the, if that's how you say his name. I'm not Jackson Child. I'm not about to say your name, say your name. When no cool is around you, say baby, you're tapping. Sing for a master. Say your name, say your name. When no cool is around you, say master, I love you. You are fucking slave. Bitch, I am not about to say your name on today. See, this is why I can't get a video done, because I get sidetracked. So many times I have to readjust, realign onto the point at hand, okay? <laughs> but before we get into Miss Emmys, I wanted to talk really quickly about Mr. David Clark ass over here trying to drag Colin Kaepernick. I'm sitting over here like, what's going on? Miss David, girl, honey, she went on there talking about, girl, um, Miss Colin Kaepernick, girl, she's just pressed boots. You know what I mean? She priced down, honey. She can't, she's not really in the community teaching and mentoring the kids, girl. I'm so sick and to basically just like, girl, stop complaining. Master's getting, Master's treating us nice. We in the house, ain't it? We in the house, ain't it? Why you mad? Master treating us real good. Don't run away. Like, you know what I mean? David is really not featuring this stand up for your blackness type of bullshit. He's serving me all types of boo. You know, you know, in Casper, the friendly ghost type of tease, the way that he seems to be walking around in a hooded ass mask all the time. Girl, David. Sit down, David. The tea on the street is, girl, that this thesis statement that you wrote for your master's degree, girl, they're saying, girl, you, they, they ran that thing through um, turnitin.com, bitch. They ran that thing, they said, boop, 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 bitch. It flatlined, honey, when they ran that shit through uh, turnitin.com. They said, low key, girl, this is what they saying. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. They were saying since that you had plagiarized your shit. <laughs> Yeah, let me tell you something. I worked hard as hell on my master's degree, girl. A master's degree in professional communication with a focus in integrated marketing communication. Sweetie, I worked hard for my shit. So I would be so horrified if them hoes call me, hey, say, burr, 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 burr. no, bitch, hold on. Burr. Hey, hi. Can we speak with, yeah, can we speak with Adrian? Okay. Uh, we just wanted to let you know, girl, that since you had plagiarized on your motherfucking uh, thesis, girl, you, uh, we're gonna have to take, take that degree back. I'm telling you now, if I got a call like that, girl, the only thing I would say is, oh, wig, wig in orbit. Bitch, you snatched my, you snatched my degree. Not only did you snatch my coin, not only is the U.S. Department of Education down my goddamn neck to pay back these student loans, but you gonna tell me you gonna snatch my degree too? Why you over here, David Clark, worried about the fact that um, um, Colin Kaepernick's out here giving, what, almost a million dollars to charity, donating his time. Literally, people responded to your shit with screenshots and pictures of him in front of the community doing events, mentoring people. This very same thing that you talk, that you're like, girl, what he's not doing. Okay, sis, instead of worried about people actually enjoying and loving and living up to and defending their blackness, what you need to be, what you should have been worried about 
is maybe running, if you are going to copy and paste from Wikipedia, girl, at least run it by, a, you know, a few classmates to see, hey, girl, does this look like plagiarism? Girl, I'm glad I like to do my own work, as you can clearly see from my channel. Um, I like to do my own work, okay? I'm not like some of these copy ass, copy and paste ass creators that, that y'all have running around here. And that also wasn't part of my personality when it came to my academia. So, girl, I'm going to sit on this master's degree. Now, sweetie, I don't know what you're going to sit on besides master's toilet, because that's as far as his ass will let you use free will, the bathroom. Girl, thank you, Clark. <laughs> Sit your ass down. You don't want to get, you don't want it with me. You don't. You don't. I'll be talking about Donald Trump later on, obviously, because, uh, <laughs> when do I not have to? But Floyd Mayweather was talking about Donald Trump, too, girl. He was. He was. He wasn't talking about him like I'm about to talk about him. Like I'm gonna, like I'm gonna talk about his jack-o'-lantern, no Halloween-shaped head ass. You know what I mean? It movie-shaped head ass, which I haven't seen yet, girl. Well, I'm, I guess I do see it every time I flip on CNN and I see this administration acting a goddamn clown. Acting a fool, sweetie. You know, Floyd May Mayweather wasn't talking about Donald Trump like oh, how I talk about him. He was defending his ass barrel as if Donald Trump would really sit up here and create policies that defend his blackity black black ass. You know what I mean? It's just, it's really flabbergasting to me that you really sit up here, girl, and defend Miss, uh, defend Miss Trump like that girl. He really sat up there and said, oh, well, I'm a real man and that's how real men talk. You know what I mean? We just grab them by whatever we want to grab them. Yeah, I grabbed it and it's so crazy to me that people don't understand this is what I'm talking about when I say toxic masculinity, okay? The fact that he defines sexual assault as being a real man in and of itself presents a whole fucking line of implications and problems that we have to address, bitch. Who taught him that? Probably his goddamn daddy. And what is he probably gonna teach his kids the same goddamn thing? He gonna tell his sons. This is what he gonna tell his sons. Floyd May. Floyd Mayweather and people like him gonna tell his sons, go out there, get the pussy, grab it, do whatever you have to do, flip it, rub it up, and smack it. When she doesn't want it, it doesn't matter. You got to go out there and take it. That's what she, that's what men like Floyd Mayweather are gonna tell his sons, their sons. But when they come to their daughters, they're gonna say, okay, girl, cross your legs, close your legs, don't let these men come up there and do anything and everything to you. So I don't understand. You're telling your son in the same household this happens. You, bitch, and I know people can, t can attest to this. In the same household, you're gonna tell your son to do the same trash shit that you did that has your fucking wife right now stressed the hell out that you're so, so trash. The same shits that you had stressing your wife out right now with is the same shit that you're instilling in your son. He gonna stress somebody else's daughter out for that shit. You're telling him to grab whatever he wants to grab and take it, okay? By whatever means necessary. That's what you told your sons. You told your daughters now to, to just put a whole padlock around their vagina and don't let anything happen to it. So it's just like, can y'all not see with these two different groups of people, these men and women who are trained completely differently, and you put them in the same room and expect everything to be easy, breezy, beautiful, bad bitch? Girl, no man. Floyd Mayweather, you're trash. Your thinking is trash. It's like, girl, I hope that you feel the same way when your mama calls you frantically saying that, oh girl, somebody just touched me inappropriately. I don't know what the fuck to do. Y'all hoes will have a different story then. Y'all y'all will be thinking completely differently then. If your young daughter was coming up here telling you the same shit that, that you claim makes you a man and shit, somebody else gonna do that shit to your goddamn daughter. I hope that you feel the same exact way when she calls you crying about some shit, okay? Says, think about some shit before you open your hooked on phonics needing ass mouth, okay? Bye bye now. I'm not surprised at anything that Kevin Hart does unless it involves him being funny. That's the only time in which you will catch me off guard with anything that he presents to the public. At this point, I expect everything except for him to actually stand up in his blackness and for him to actually have some type of talent. Kevin Hart, I guess, is being extorted. Not sure what's going on here, but he decided to take up his phone and try to get ahead of the story and say, well, girl, I, I'm so sorry. I'm apologizing now, girl. I can't, I shouldn't have done this shit. I need to get, okay, girl, all right. Birds of a feather, they do flock together. It seems like y'all are about to be compressed into a McNugget the way that y'all are constructed like whole baby chickens. You see what I'm saying? This all could have been avoided if Kevin Hart didn't cheat on your first wife. Um, I guess we could start there. And um, if y'all hoes were, were I kick, 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 you know, having a lot of fun in this broken ass relationship that was built off of infidelity and now 
Um, we're supposed to be shocked and surprised that you're out here cheating again, girl. And I can't believe some of you hoes were just like, oh my God, they're just in the back of a car. You know what I mean? I can't remember what that situation was about. Um, it, when it comes to Kevin Hart, I don't really pay much attention. As my guy on Twitter said, I forget his name on Twitter. I think it's Holy Scum or something. He said, well, girl, I would never let a thumb from Spy Kids disrespect me. I mean, he called Kevin bite size, just like his comedic talent. So I'm not sure what we were expecting. Y'all hoes were talking about, oh, well, girl, it's just a car ride in the back of the car. Girl, no man. What was that important that you need to be enclosed in the car to talk about looking over your goddamn shoulder, bitch? Like, girl, we all knew what the tea was. As I said, I'm not sure why this is such a big story. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. Um, he's being extorted. I guess the girls have him um, running around so he don't have to write no check for nobody ass. Apparently, I guess... Somebody got into girl phone and is threatening to release a bunch of shit. So, I mean, y'all are famous. Like, if you're going to be trash and cheat, why y'all hoes out here recording shit? That's why I said on Twitter, like, if y'all got a video of me sucking dick somewhere, girl, I, just release it now. Release it now. Just just leak the shit now, girl. Let's get this shit over with, girl. If you have my nudes somewhere, girl, and I'm showing a booty hole or some shit like that, my dick slinging around... Leak the shit now, damn! Let's just deal with it now, girl. If I said, if, if my shit leaks, I'm doing a new calendar on you hoes. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Send around news, I'm sure somebody got my news. Okay, girl, I mean, it is what it is, girl. It is, let's not act like we haven't seen dick before. Girl, I mean, I'm just gonna give y'all a new calendar and call it a goddamn day. Just leak it now, girl! Yeah, stop recording your lives. If you're gonna be trash, stop recording your lives, okay? But um, your whole life is trash at this point. You over here, girl. down on bended knee on Instagram, girl. I just, I just, oh, I can't deal with this shit. Kevin, girl, take a sociology class and learn to be funny. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you, sis.